What it is? What it is? What's going on? On everybody, it's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all, is having a blessed day today. Today, uh, I want to say this shoe was early, but it ain't really early because it dropped already. It just ain't dropped over here, and I don't know if we're gonna get a release date over here for this shoe. But the shoe is fire as far as the pictures is one of my favorite silhouettes. And I just can't, I ain't even looked at him in hand. Shout out to my guy Walt. I just met him uh, to pick these shoes up so I could do the review. I was gonna cop this shoe. This was like definitely on my cop list. But I got Travis Scott Jordan one low reverse mochas. And I promised myself I would not cop any shoes for the month of August. You feel me? So I can't do it. Not yet, but hopefully. Uh, the resale just stays pretty decent on these and I'll be able to get them later on down the line. I'm keeping that promise to myself to sit down in August. For those who all copped my Mike Rich merch, my official Mike Rich shop, shout out to y'all. Like I said, when you buy the merch, tag me at rich underscore Mike 23 on Instagram and I will post you in my stories to show my appreciation for the pickup. I got the cleansed stamp of approval. Clank, clank, got on right now. I got the battery. The, the, the buttery t-shirt and I also got the rich nation guys coming with more merch trying to get some ideas the next time I want to bring something out I just want to bring something out that I just really I'm really vibing with so I'm coming up with some ideas we in the works rich nation is standing all the way up to the moon on them as always but let's go ahead and get into the kicks you feel me here we go like I said shout out to my guy Walt he cops all his shoes early. He don't even care about trying to get retail because he don't want the headaches. He kind of like me, man. I don't want the headaches. I, I don't. Need, I just, if I pay, have to pay a little bit over retail, that's fine with me. I don't want to have to jump through hoops for these companies to get these shoes, man. Um, but let's go ahead and do it. He got it. Still got it in the box. And here we go, man. So this shoe had an overseas release, I think already. And from what I'm hearing, I was talking to Break Unbreakable Kicks. That he is earlier. Uh, this month or last month and he told me this shoe was still sitting overseas so I, I feel like if I can get a pair for like retail or something like that whatever retail is because of course there's no retail price on none of these joints they've been coming out um I, I probably still cop a pair later on down the line and especially depending on how I feel about this unboxing and laying my eyes on you the first time you feel me anyway without further ado let's get into these Woo. What that box is, y'all usually see Jordan 5s and Jordan 6s in this box, right? Am I correct or am I tripping? You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people don't realize that this is actually the OG box for the Air Jordan 7. I can show you the OG box right now. So, shout out to my guy Ron G, aka Ron Gosserin, because he was able to get me these you see over my shoulder, the original 1992 Olympic Air Jordan 7s. And this is the original box. I thought it was going OG with everything, but we've been getting Jordan 7s and like that Jordan uh, 11 Jordan 12 box. That the, the one in the top come out. No. What else coming? 10s and 11s been coming in that box lately. This is actually the original Air Jordan 7 box from 1992 right here. Just a little history action. Shout out to Ron G, man. And it's, it just says Air Jordan. Back then, you know, before the retros, it just said Air Jordan. That's all it said. Air Jordan. They had the colorway. It says white, midnight navy, and true red made in Taiwan. Original Air Jordan box it has the Nike right here the Jumpman of course and has the cement vibes it's this it's the fold open box original OG box you feel me so that's what we got going on right here original so they should have been putting sevens in the in this box but I don't know man you know sevens never get no love not even over at Jordan brand what's going on and it's another seven coming out soon I don't know when the release date is I really really want it it kind of looked like the BN7 and it got vibes it got tan uh that Vegeta tan vibes I don't know the, I can't think of the name of it right now I have to look it up later on anyway without making this video too long let's go ahead and get into these right here that they actually put a Air Jordan 7 in the OG Air Jordan 7 type box let's go ahead and get into them you gotcha don't have the black paper though usually have the black paper if it was OG but they got the cement paper vibes and you think smell good I'm, woo, okay, see now, okay, I think I'm gonna have to get me a pair of these, ooh, 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 
He got him from Flight Club. Like I said, he always get his grab his click kicks from Flight Club early. I've never heard too many people complain about uh, Flight Club's authenticity, and this is definitely a, a authentic pair. I can tell by looking at it. I mean, just the box and everything. I don't know. I can just sometimes when I open a pair of shoes, even though people be saying like this little sticker right here, and then this little stamp and all that stuff. That little stamp right there. I ain't you know. It's just something about when you open a pair of shoes and you hit that smell. That smell first hits you, shout it. It's a distinctive smell that Air Jordans got when they fresh out the box. It's a glue, leather, suede, whatever smell you want to call it. Whoa, my guy, whoa. Hey, my boy. Hey, it was a real funny story, too, because when I met Walt, real quick, when I met him today to get the shoe, I had a white t-shirt on. And I had my, I had a white, white beater under the t-shirt. Walt said, hey, man, uh, next time, won't you do a gray t-shirt under the white t-shirt? I said, hey, Walt. This is an ATL stuff right here, my boy. You got it. The wife beater got to show under the white t-shirt. Y'all comment below. Is it a Southern thing? Is it a Atlanta thing? Or is it just a Mike Rich thing? Because the, um, sweating like a pastor. Yes, Lord. But, uh, yeah, man. I, I got to have the white wife beater on under the white t-shirt, man. That's the vibes that I grew up with. You know, I get mad if I don't put the white t It's just making it look clean to me. Anyway, hey. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Wow. The Air Jordan 7K54 things. These are fire. Like, I ain't gonna count, shout it. And I'm not gonna see her. I hate when people say, Mike Rich, man, why you ribbing them shoes up? Why you hyping them shoes up? They trash. You gonna hype up some trash. You know you don't like them. I hate that. If nothing else on my channel, if nothing else, on Mike Rich's channel, I've been honest. The official colorway is, I mean, the official name is Air Jordan 7 Retro Q, which is, I guess, for K54. Q-U-I, you know, you know how K is. It's not Kwai, it's Kai. Remember we used to call it Kwai? The official colorway is neutral indigo and bright crimson. Only thing I don't like about what they be doing with Jordan 7s lately is... They love putting the red, white, and blue colors on Jordan 7s. You don't believe me. Look at the PSG Jordan 7s that drop. Look at the alternate Tinker Olympics that drop. And now people are asking for OG Olympics to drop. Y'all ain't got to make every Jordan 7 red, white, and blue, man. It don't have to be. But these are fire. Let's go ahead and get into the review, man. Real quick. Let's get a close-up. And let's get some zoom-in action, man. This is the Air Jordan 7 uh, K54. I'm going to say it quiet again. You have this really, really nice suede. They hit you with the new book on these panels right here. And then they hit you with the suede in the middle panels right here. Like right here, right here, and up here by the jump man. They hit you with the suede. You have that stitched red, like a bright, what kind of red they call it? It's almost, now I'm looking at it, it don't even look red. It looks almost like a neon infrared, if you will. I, I don't really know what you call that color. You can see it really good on certain parts of the shoe. But really we're quick, we're going to start with this side, the, um, the lateral side. And then, like I said, it got some really good suede and you really usually don't see, except for collabs, which I guess this technically is, like the patterns, they got really good suede on them. And this shoe got really good new book and suede combined. I love the combination of the textures on the shoe right there. Got the toe box going. Woo, good suede. I'm glad they went with the suede on the toe box. Looking oh so battery. And then right here on the medial side as well, man. White mint so I thought it was sell at first, but it's this real kind of like not bright white, but it's this real smooth silky buttery looking white you know what i'm saying on the mount peaks right here real quick they usually go with the different colors on the mount peaks but they kind of hit you with a um that's like a milky on a, on this part right here and then on the top is that white and then you got of course the blue right here at the bottom you know what i'm saying and you can really tell on the bottom speaking of the bottoms how bright and vibrant that red is it's almost it's a little bit brighter than the olympic jordan 7 or red but it's just, I'm talking about these clean. Y'all know I love sevens. The only thing that threw me off, and it's it's not ugly, I just don't know what's the purpose of it, is this kind of pinstripey uh, vibe going on on the tongue. It's like a pinstripe, and it goes all the way up to the top. Now, I don't know if that has anything to do with the K54 basketball team, but um, I just know that it's a dope look, man. These are fire. Got the red Air Jordan 
stitched on the tongue as well very 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 nice in my humble opinion like I said later on down the line uh, if I take my break I'm gonna get me a pair of these guys right here cuz they are hard in the back which is the best part number one they went with the big triangle in the back they used to do the big triangle back when the OG's was dropping I really like the fact that they used the big triangle plus they have the K54 and the actual K54 logo right here on the pull strap in the back I'm loving that man these are cleansed in my humble opinion these definitely get that stamp of approval clank clank hey you talking about plus I love settings you already know it um I don't think nothing is different on the right shoe. It's just both of them have that same uh, K54 on the a pull strap. And like you said, I don't, I don't really want to, uh, the video going on long enough, so I don't really got to compare. But the seven triangle in the back with the 23 on it is a little bit bigger and it pops more on the back of the shoe. I'm really, really digging these. They're getting really close to the OG shape of the Air Jordan 7s with these last few drops as well, man. So that's it, man. I don't know what retail is. I think it's around 200 uh, when you do the uh, currency exchange. Um, and the last time I looked on like GOAT, they was like 200. Our price, they was like two, in my size, like 220. 240 so I'm thinking if it stay around that price range I am going to be giving me a pair of these Air Jordan 7 K54s like I said the shape has got so much better they got that good nice buttery suede in the bottoms is like man there's so many things I like about 7s I like the shape of the shoe I like the way the shoe fit on feet it has that Hirachi uh, kind of like booty on the inside I love the bottoms that's one of my favorite parts of course the backs I already talked about and like I said with the Hirachi thing on the inside you can also see when you look through this right here you can still see those pinstripes almost like De Derek Jeter vibes to a certain extent but they kind of like a pinstripe that's kind of like got a I don't know, it looked like pinstripes right here, but on the front, it kind of looked like the stripe fades in and out. So I don't know, y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think about these. And that's it, man. That has been my review of the Air Jordan 7K 54s. I want to see what's on the inside. I'm, I try not to take other people's shoes apart too much, but on the inside, it does have the K54. Uh, see if I can hold that in the light. The K54 patch. Jumpman and the K54 logo in that same bright red going on. And it also says Summer Paris 2022 World Street Ball Championship K54. If y'all didn't know what K54 was in the first place, which I knew, but you know what I'm saying? I be forgetting to mention that type of stuff. Anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching the video. Comment below and tell me what y'all think of these things. I will be having a pair at some point. Hit the thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon. I don't know what I'm here you talking about. And keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Gone. Call up the plug, hit me a lick. Early hits from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as to bless, thank God for the gift. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just might hit. With richest kicks, I mean my rich. Yeah, ballin' all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going on the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. My rich fans, shout that's what I got the gift for. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for. Gone. All the way up to the moon on them. What's happening there, everybody? Yeah. Life so lighty daddy Bless. Hit that Nike snow just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby Then yeah. we fly to Abu Dhabi, then we gone Straight up to the moon on them hey. To the moon